Welcome everyone to a tutorial on how to automatically wrap graph labels in matplotlib and seaborne plots. So if you've created enough data visualizations with matplotlib and seaborne, then you've probably run into this issue where you have overlapping x-axis tick labels. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to correct them. So first, all, let's read in some data. Here's some Airbnb listing data from Washington, D.C the neighborhood, the number of persons that the listing accommodates, and then the price for that listing is shown. What we're going to do here is create a bar plot of the average price in each neighborhood by the number of persons that it accommodates. We're going to show the top 10 neighborhoods and then just up to three person accommodations. So here the data is easy to read, but it's just these x-axis tick labels that overlap and make for an ugly graph. So I want to show you how to resolve this. One way is to rotate the labels 90 degrees. And we can do that with the set X tick labels method in matplotlib. So we will do that here and come up with this result. So this is readable now, but you know, you've made these long labels. So you might prefer to keep the labels horizontal and just wrap them at a particular wherever there is a space. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to use the text wrap library, which is part of the standard library. And I've created a function over here. And what this function does is it takes in the matplotlib axis object. That's just this entire plot. It will loop through each one of the labels. So it's going to go through each one of these labels one at a time. It's going to extract the text from them. And then it will, this is the magic part in here. So it will use the text wrap uh, fill method, which will break up these words at a space. So it'll wrap them at a space that is uh, before uh, width. So it will, or it'll allow up to 10 characters of width, and then it will break it up at a, at that space. And you can set this width here in this function. And if the, um, you can also set to break up very long words. So it'll break it up at 10 characters, no matter what, even if there is no space there. So that's how, this is the, 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 the part that does all the heavy lifting for us. It's this text wrap library. And then we're just going to append to our new labels. And then finally just set these new labels over here uh, like this. Okay, so here's the function I've inputted in. I'm just gonna pass it in the axes, the matplotlib axes and then to tell it to split at the 10th character and then show the result like this. So it's just inserted a new line character. That's all it's done uh, at the 10th or wherever a space character is. And now you can see that it is legible. So uh, yeah, again, it's just looping through the, le uh, looping through the text labels, applying this text wrap fill method to them, and then just setting the labels again. All right. so. Uh, I really like this. I think it looks a lot cleaner whenever the labels are wrapped and not, you know, rotated 90 degrees. So hopefully that can help you um, in the future if you run into this problem, and you probably will, where you have overlapping x-axis tick labels.